Hello, all audience from uh, PV630 Forum. And I am Dennis Shi, and Senior Vice President of Longji Solar. Uh, Longji uh, has launched a new product, which is a HEMO5 solar module in Q3 of this year. Let's look at the technology integration of this new product. We use M10 gallium dot monowafer based on our M10 uh, monowafer. We will still use p -perk for the cell technology and uh, we will use 9 bus bar half cut technology in this new product. This new product will still follow normal 6 rows 72 cell module design. The parameter of this product, the length of this product will be around 2.2 and the width will be 1.1. The VOC of, for this product we try to limit it below 50. The IMP is below 13. First time we introduce new soldering technology in this product, we call that smart soldering technology. For this new uh, soldering technology, we try to use integrated segment ribbon. The module efficiency can be increased by 0.3% compared to conventional MBB product. This new smart soldering technology will also can reduce the tensile strength of the cell by more than 20%, which can enable the higher reliability of the product. So let's look at the value of this product. We have done a comparison of BOS saving compared to the commercial, the current commercial product developed by G1 wafer. The HEMO5 product, the average power output will be around 335 compared with the 410. So we can save around 1.2 US dollar cent per watt for BF, for BOS. We also have done a comparison of mainstream product in the market from G1 to HEMO4. Let's look at the boundary condition analysis of BOS cost between 182 to 210 millimeter half cast module. The BOS cost saving of high power stream mainly come from the cost saving of large blanket, the saving of the cable and the string inverter, the labor cost saving brought by large module. Considering the large blanket and manual handling are restricted by the Terran large size module is more suitable for flat ground. So we have done um, the condition analysis based on flat hair. The blanket and length is unlimited on flat ground. The blanket weight is still limited due to insulation considerations. The maximum tracker length limits the number of G12 module streams and the increased module length will reduce the wind load resistance. Therefore, the G20 module cannot have significantly improved on the BOS cost based on flat terra. In terms of cable cost, the advantage of high stream power decreases marginally while the resistive loss increase linearly. For G12 half cut module, 6 mm cable should be selected to avoid such kind of power loss on cable. When the area of width of module increases significantly, it will bring difficulties to manual handling and installations. The logic of installation cost by pieces is no longer tenable. Okay, that's pretty much from my side for today. Thank you again for all audience. Best wishes.